final thing I'm going to show you in this lesson is how to make a simple graph. Uh, through the course we're going to make quite a lot of different graphs but in this uh, small lesson we're just going to do one simple type of graph and that's the XY scatter plot or the bivariate scatter plot just to give you a feel for how you can make a graph. You've probably made this graph in R before and you've probably used a function called plot to do so. We're going to do something a little bit different now and for the rest of the course, and that's use a function called qplot, which is short for quick plot, to, um, to make this graph and more or less all other graphs that we're going to make during the course. The reason why we're going to use qplot or quick plot instead of plot is because uh, with qplot it's just as easy to do the very simple graphs. Uh, it's easier to do slightly more complex or even much more complex graphs and also qplot and the package in which it is, ggplot2, is actually really becoming a standard um, for people that um, use R. Uh, so it's a very good thing to learn and you'll find that it's um, somewhat challenging like many things in R but also um, one can get the hang of it quite quickly. Um, so we'll be walking through um, a lot of ways to use qplot to make lots of different graphs but now we're just going to look at um, the scatterplot like I said, um, qplot exists within a package called ggplot2. Now, you may not know what these packages are, what packages are. Um, that will be explained soon uh, in the course, very soon. Uh, for now, just work along with me and take it that um, qplot exists within that package ggplot2, and I'll show you now how to um, get that package uh, so you can work with that. So the first thing to do to get that package is to install it onto your computer. And we, we type install packages ggplot2 and run that line with command enter. And my computer says it wants to update a bunch of things and restart R. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. And I just press OK and um, let the computer do its thing. There we go. Nearly done. And it's all done. So that package is now installed onto my computer and I need to load it into R's head. And I do that by typing library ggplot2 and running that. Oops. Just like that. We get a little warning message, but that's not too important. Okay, so now we're ready to make this plot. And we're going to use the function, like I said, we're going to use the function qplot. As with many functions, or all functions, we have the name of the function, qplot, and then an open bracket and a closed bracket. And we put the things that we give to the function in the in these brackets. The first thing that we give, well, we've got to think about what we're going to plot. Uh, let's make a graph of um, x3 on the x-axis and x4 on the y-axis. Now, x4 is, um, oh, it's here, it's just x3. Actually, let's do something a little bit different just run all that to make sure it's running and now we'll make x4 x3 squared okay so we'll make a graph of like I said x3 on the x-axis and x4 on the y-axis and we just made x4 the square of x3 um, that's it um, this should create a graph I'll just run that Good, and in this window we get a xy scatter plot, x3 on the x-axis, x4 on the y-axis. How does qplot know which to put on which axis? Well, it's just got this convention that the first variable that we give it it goes on the x-axis and the second goes on the y-axis. We can see that by default, uh, the default behavior of qplot is to make a, a scatter plot with points corresponding to the data. So that's what um, we have. Um, we can change many things about this graph. Um, for our purposes today, we're just going to change one thing. Um, let's change this to be a line graph. Um, now, we do that by saying this strange thing, geom equals, and then line. Geom is short for geometry. That's like, the, what geometric shape do we want the data to be represented by. The default, like we said, was points. Um, and now we're saying, uh, instead of points, please make the geometry a line. A line. And the line is in these double quotes. Let's run that. Command Enter. Perfect. And we get a line. 
super. Uh, like I said, there's lots of other things that we can do with Qplot. We actually use Qplot to make um, all sorts of graphs like histograms. Um, you can have a go at that if you like. And also um, box and whisker plots uh, and many different types of, of graphs. So it's a very nice function that's very powerful and we can add lots of things to it as well. Right, so that's all for this lesson. Uh, you should know that you should have R now and be getting comfortable writing instructions in a script file, not typing them into the console, but sending the instructions from the script file to the console. Um, you've got some experience of um, several different instructions, um, kind of simple mass through to using functions like the log function and qplot. Uh, it's really important that, you, uh, that you're comfortable with this because this is the foundation of your um, R life and making sure that you're comfortable with it is going to make you have a much more comfortable life and uh, enjoy this course much more. So if you don't understand something, get on the discussion forum and ask questions about it and we can uh, work that out. Thanks very much.